This is a Mustang week. It's baby moon week. <laughs> this weekend, we're gonna be getting some maternity pictures. Just relaxing. First off, I wanna thank you guys for going on my registry and buying things. Like honestly, it made me cry and Mark could not believe the amount of support we had from you guys. So thank you so, so much for all the stuff for little man. Originally I was like, I don't need to post this. This is just like really for friends and family. And Mark is like last minute, let's put this in. Let's see if like people want to be a part of this. Like hyping me up. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And then finally I was just like, all right, if you make you be quiet, I'll put it in the comments. Legit, I was not expecting the support from you guys that I got. So I really, really, really appreciate it. And thank you, because I like literally cried. I don't know if it was pregnancy hormones or it was just like, I felt so loved, <laughs> but <laughs> one of the two. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <sighs> this is so heavy. <laughs> with snails and now I made friends with other Mustangs. Well guys, we're back from our baby moon. Sorry I didn't record that much. I just kind of like wanted to enjoy. I mean, as I'm talking, I'll be carrying the giant suitcase, I guess, since I'm the pregnant woman. And, you know, I don't need any help with anything. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, but I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from you. Mama Roo is, by the way, Mark. I want to say thank you to Richard Wilkinson for my Mama Roo. That was like honestly the sweetest thing ever. Like I literally cried when I saw that someone bought that for me. Like was not expecting that. And then the rest of the packages I haven't opened yet. Obviously, this one just like came, like so you could see what it was type thing. But when I open the rest, I'll like say thank you to everyone else. Don't worry. Um. To end the video, sorry, I'm out of breath, being very hard. <laughs> to end the video, we're gonna go for a little ride in Ellie, just like warm her up a bit because she's been on break for like four or five days while we we're on our baby moon. And yeah, that's that. It's time to watch some football. And then we gotta say hi to the best buddy ever. Look at him. Look at him. Who's the most handsome boy? Are you the most handsome boy? Ah! All right. Taking my heads out of my car. So you 
Jackie's gonna show you real quick. But I have yet to head so three four pull here on come baby. Alright guys, it's been a while since I talked on camera, but I'm still here. I'm still not showing my face. Are you alive? You're not talking alive, you're not I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still the guy behind the camera. But we're gonna show you. So as you can see, where the manifold touches the head there, they kind of stick out farther. There's kind of like a flange right here. And then there's a divot where my shadow is, right there, where my shadow's touching. Boop, right there. That's like a little divot in between these two flanges. And the flanges go all the way back. So, if your 2014 Mustang has those flanges sticking off of the head, you have Gen 2 heads. And you can double check this. I'll put something up on the screen really quickly so that you guys can read it. But yeah, Allie has Gen 2 heads, which means she can make a lot more power safely. You might even be able to put on a 3-4 pulley and make 900 ish wheel 850 to 900 wheel that make me crank uh, that'd be a, a 850 thousand? wheel 850 over wheel a thousand? would be a thousand crank